Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to create a time lapse like you're seeing here in the background using the E Action camera. Now we're going to jump right into the program right now. So let's go and check that out. Now there's many methods to doing the time lapse. I'm just going to show you exactly what I did to create the one that you're seeing at the moment. All right, so let's jump right into the app. And if you don't know how to connect your E camera to the phone, I have a video for that as well. So I'm going to assume that you already did all that now we're in the interface of the phone so we're gonna go by default it's gonna go right into video so what you want to do to set this up is you want to hit the camera icon make sure that that's on camera now you see here you said photo and timer you want to slide your finger across until you get to time-lapse all right so when you're in time-lapse now you're ready to start taking your time -lapse. so you want to do what I did for this time lapse, I used two seconds, right? But here you can see interval, right? So you can set it to whatever you want. So you can have take a picture every 60 seconds, every 30 seconds, 10 seconds, 5 seconds, 2 seconds. Now for this particular slideshow, I wanted a 30 second time lapse. So you have to leave the camera on taking those photos for roughly an hour. So you're going to be setting it up. You're going to turn this on right so when you want the two seconds once you got that going now you want to hit the camera icon and now you're gonna wait and you see now it says capturing in time-lapse mode so every two seconds you're gonna hear the camera beep so that means it's taking a photograph now after a while the, the phone this uh, interface would shut down and the camera will just continue on taking the time-lapse until you either turn this back on and you hit the camera icon or if you go to the camera itself and shut the camera off all right so now I already captured my time-lapse and uh, it's what you just saw right now now I kept it interesting because you want to have a moving subject so for this one uh, there's a big storm coming so it's a lot of big clouds moving so it, I think it worked out really well all right so that's the first step in capturing the time-lapse so let's get out of this interface and I'm gonna show you how I edited those photos because once they come out of the camera they're gonna be 4 by 3 size so we want our time-lapse to be 16 by 9 which is gonna be what the video that you see so you want it to be 16 by 9 and we're gonna edit it a little bit so for that one we're gonna jump into Lightroom all right so now we are in Lightroom and we have imported all of our pictures so once you have taken all your photographs and the time lapse, you're going to take all the photos from the SD card on your e-camera and you're going to save them to a folder, a destination where you know where to look. Then we're going to put them into Lightroom. Now here are all the photographs and right now I'm going to show you how to crop and edit these photos in Lightroom. So once you have them all in here, now let me uh, let me click on one of these because you're going to have a lot of them. So for this particular demonstration, we have 831 photos, right? So in order to work on them, but first let me show you what one of them uh, looks like. So we're going to go in here just so you can see. And uh, real quickly, uh, so that's just one photo, and we're going to be putting this in a time lapse. So we're going to jump into another program in order to, to get that. So I already cropped, so if I go to the crop, you will see how much I actually cut. So let's, um, you, you see how this square, this is a 16 by 9 square. If I open it up, you can actually see how much of the image it took, right? So that's, that's the entire image. So now we're just going to go, go back. Let's go back to the layer. It's just going to revert back to the the other settings. So, okay. So when you bring them in, now obviously I already edited all those photos. So you see how much I crop. So in order to, to adjust all of them at once, what you want to do is you want to go and you want to import all these photos. I'm assuming you already know how to import all the photos into the program. And then uh, you're going to control A or like I do, I have one clicked, or you can just go up here under File, and you want to go under Edit, and you want to hit Select All. All right, once you hit Select All, all you have to do is, so you, basically, as long as they're all selected, and you start to, you go into the Develop Module, right? So if you go into the Develop Module, 
it's now that you're in here they're all selected so you see how they're all highlighted down here every single last one of them so now whatever you do to the first photograph or if you pick a different one depending on where you're at um, all that so let's say to go here you go under basic and you mess around with this I already edited it to the way I needed it to but just as a demonstration let me uh, let's say that you wanted to bump up the ISO that now you see if I do that it's gonna add this particular setting to all the photographs right and this, uh, you see how it's starting to slow my camera my PC is a little bit slow so you see how it's already changing all the photos underneath this so that all 800 and 36 photos are going to get the same treatment, but let me go back to where I had it before So I had it at uh, 36. That's where I was Now Bring it back to 36, but you see how Once you start to change and you see the synchronized settings up there It's actually adding all the same settings to all your photos, right? And uh, so that's what you want to do and then the crop same thing with the crop You see you, you just picked a certain crop that you wanted it in uh, so for me if you wanted it you know make sure that you got that uh, YouTube or that video 16 by 9 aspect ratio you're just gonna go here to X aspect ratio and you're gonna hit 16 by 9 right so you where do you find that you find it right here 16 by 9 1920 by 1080 you're gonna click that and then it's gonna add all that and then to export you're just gonna export all all those photos so you're just gonna go back to your library now they're all picked right all those photos are picked and then uh, what you want to do is you want to export all those photos right and for me you know you name them a certain a specific way so it's gonna export all the export all. so you can see 831 files so it's gonna export all those pictures and uh, if you create another folder and you name it right so for example with, with these um, obviously there's a lot of settings here that you can do but for me you just name it a specific way so for me it's like afternoon tonight storm comes and then that's the date and then I put pick at the end so when I do that it basically is gonna add you know one two three it's gonna synchronize it all and it's gonna save it to a destination you want to save it either in the same folder or create another folder that tells you which photos are for your time-lapse all right guys so that's how you edit in Lightroom now there is a way to create the time-lapse in Lightroom itself I'm not gonna go into that right now I'll probably save it for another tutorial but for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna take you into power director and show you exactly what I do to create the time-lapse in power director because it happens much faster when I use power director if I did it in Lightroom uh, for some reason it just takes so much longer uh, it does work but it takes a huge amount of time uh, I'm not sure why that is, but all right, we're going to jump from here and now we're going to head right into Power Director and I'll show you exactly how to create the time lapse using these photos once they are done editing. And we're going to go on to that right now. Okay, so how do we create our time lapse in Power Director 17? All right, so let's jump right into the program and let me show you how to do that. All right, so we talked about the e camera, we talked about importing the photos into Lightroom and editing them and having them in 16 by 9 so assuming that you already did all that now we're in power director we're gonna bring it in and this is how you create a time-lapse in power director alright so we're gonna go to file oh but first let's uh, check our settings so let's go to this little cogwheel here for the preferences and make sure that we're set up the right way uh, so you wanna make sure that you're on 24 FPS film right make sure that that's clicked uh, we're not gonna have sound so we don't have to really worry about this because it's a time-lapse so you're gonna hit OK and then now we go to file and then you're gonna bring in your photographs that you already edited and made into 16 by 9 now can you do all this in this, in this program you can uh, but I find this is much easier and it gives you more control to edit them separately so here's the folder right so you're gonna click on the first one and the way I do it is so you can uh, bring them all down and then I hit the shift key and hold and then click on that and it's gonna highlight all those files right all those pictures that you just edited it and now you're gonna hit open now you're gonna let it go and you see how it's adding them all and synchronization because you already did uh, 
you know, you, you named it and you added the right number at the end, meaning that you, you see the name right there, late afternoon to night storm, September 20th, and then you just do pick and then Lightroom automatically is going to add all those numbers. So 831 photographs in here, guys. All right. So now they're in here. So the next thing you want to do is you want to bring them into your timeline and now you're going to hit control A to select them all. So now they are all selected and now you're going to just click and hold and you're going to drag drag them all down into your timeline right there. Now it's going to insert all the clips and it's going to insert them as single single files and then I'm going to show you exactly how that's done once it's finished. So it's doing the processing now so see now that they're edited and they're cropped to the way you need them you know it takes away a lot of having to do the work here I mean yes you can but it's just not going to be the same all right so in power director 17 if we look down here you see I fix enhance and then we have slideshow so what you want to do is once your photos are down there you want to hit slideshow all right we're going to wait for that to open up I'll give it a second here okay so then this window pops up and uh, we're gonna be specific to what we're doing so we're gonna look for time-lapse all right so uh, it's the third column down guys right here so you want to do time-lapse you know click on that okay so if we preview it it's just gonna give you a rough idea of what uh, time-lapse is gonna look like so here you can look at what it what it's gonna end up looking so it's just a quick way of looking at it. It's going to be slow because this is not the actual process file. So let's just uh, let's just click next. So from there, let's go to next. All right. So here you got some more options, right? And uh, what you want to do is just all you're going to do is produce video. You don't really you don't need to do this disc or I mean if you do advanced editing, all this is going to happen is it's just going to take you back to um, the previous window where you see below this one and you, you can adjust and fix and hand do all that stuff so it's just going to take you out of here but um, I already did all that and all my images are in the timeline so all we want to do is hit produce video and it's going to ask you this adding the creative site to replace the selected clips in the timeline you just want to you just want to hit ok just hit, hit ok and it's just updating the timeline so all, all it's really doing is uh, creating, putting them all together in one single uh, usable file in order for you to produce. All right, so here is the next screen, all right? And what I do is I pick H.264 AVCH because that's the standard for YouTube because that's where I'm going to be outputting it to, uh, MP4 format. And then you're just going to pick your, uh, your file that you want to save it to. Okay, so now I already have... The time lapse and you've been seeing it all along and you saw it at the beginning of this tutorial so so that's it once that's done you can you can use that file however you need I'm gonna I'm gonna click off of this all right guys so I hope that was very helpful to you uh, let me know if this was useful to you or if you have any more ideas or different ways that you do time lapses let me know if you use power director or if you use a different program uh, let me hear your thoughts and your comments on this uh, let me know what you like about it and I'll be making more very soon uh, and uh, you should check out my video on how to connect the e camera to your PC to create the uh, time lapses because uh, that makes it much easier than the phone um, I also have other tutorials as far as photography is concerned so guys thank you very much for checking this out I look forward to your comments I'll see you on the next one bye bye